मल्टीपल स्क्लेरोसिस मल्टीपल स्क्लेरोसिस इज अ क्रोनिक प्रोग्रेसिव डिजेनरेटिव डिसऑर्डर ऑफ द सी एन एस कैरेक्टराइज बाय डिसमिनेटेड डिमारिनेशन ऑफ द नर्व फाइबर्स ऑफ द ब्रेन एंड द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इट यूजली अफेक्ट्स यंग टू मिडल एज एडल्ट विद ऑनसेट बिटवीन फिफ्टीन टू फिफ्टी ईयर्स एंड वुमन अफेक्टेड मोर देन मैन The pathogenesis of the multiple sclerosis is unclear. There is evidence of an autoimmune etiology in genetically susceptible individuals who are exposed to environmental triggers such as viral infection. Such potential etiologies are thought to be T cell mediated. The female to male ratio is 3 to 2 and onset is typically between 20 and 40 years of age. Multiple sclerosis becomes more common with increasing distance from equator during the childhood. subtypes are relapsing and remitting primary progressive secondary progressive progressive relax, relapsing so as we have discussed uh, the exact etiology is unknown it might be related to infectious immunological and other genetic factors the possible uh, the possible precipitating factors include infection physical injury emotional stress excessive fatigue pregnancy and poor state of health the pathophysiology the myelin sheath has a segmented lamination that wraps axon and many nerve cells it increases the velocity of the nerve impulse conduction in the axon and composed of the myelin substance is substance that has high lipid content so uh, it is characterized by chronic inflammation demyelination gliosis or scarring in the cns initially triggered by a virus uh, in genetically susceptible individuals subsequent antigen antibody reaction lead to demyelination of axons pathophysiology the the decrease in uh, the disease process consists of loss of myelin disappearance of oligodendrocyte and proliferation of astrocyte the changes results in a plaque formation with plaques scattered throughout the cn initially the myelin sheath of the neurons in the brain and the spinal cord are attacked but the nerve fiber is not affected the patient may complain of noticeable impairment of function myelin can regenerate and symptoms disappear resulting in remission myelin can be replaced by glial scar tissue without myelin the nerve impulse slow down and uh, with destruction of the axon impulses are totally blocked results in a permanent loss of nerve function symptoms are usually vague and occur intermittently over months and years multiple sclerosis may not be diagnosed until long after the onset of first symptom patient with multiple sclerosis complaints that uh, are separated with time and space and are not explained by a single lesion as the disease progresses permanent deficits accumulate limb weakness optic neuritis paresthesia diplopia vertigo nystagmus gain and steadiness urine retention sexual and bowel dysfunction depression cognitive impairment are also seen symptoms classically worsen transiently with hot showers that is diagnostic attacks are unpredictable but on average occurs every 1.5 lasting for 2 to 8 weeks neurological symptoms can come and go or be progressive those with relapsing and remitting history have the best prognosis lermet sign demonstrated by vibratory and electrical sensation traveling up and down the neck and back with flexion generally suggests the presence of cervical myelitis so it is characterized by chronic progressive deterioration and remission and exacerbation in others common signs and symptoms include motor and sensory cerebellar and emotional problems motor manifestation include weakness diplopia scanning speech spasticity of muscles sensory manifestation numbness and tingling blurred vision vertigo tinnitus 
decreased hearing and chronic neuropathic pain. Cerebellar manifestations include nystagmus, involuntary eye movement, ataxia, dysarthria, lack of coordination in articulating speech, dysphagia, and difficulty in swallowing. Emotional manifestation, anger, depression, and euphoria. Other manifestations include bowel and bladder uh, problems, which include constipation, spastic bladder, small capacity for urine results in incontinence, flexed bladder, large capacity of urine, and no sensation to urinate. Sexual dysfunction uh, include erectile problems, decreased libido, difficulty in orgasmic response, and painful intercourse and decreased uh, lubrication. Diagnosis uh, is based primarily on history, clinical examination, and presence of multiple lesions over the measured by MRI. Certain laboratory tests are used as adjunct for the clinical exam. MRI may show multiple asymmetric, often paraventricular and white matter lesion, dorsal fingers, especially in corpus callosum, active lesions enhanced with gallidonium. CSF reveals mononuclear pleocytes with increased IgG or at least two oligoclonal bands found in the serum. These are non-specific and abnormal somatosensory or visually evoke, evoke potentials may also be present. Diagnosis is primarily based on history and clinical manifestation. Ruling out other causes or symptoms, no definitive diagnostic test, and MRI demonstrate uh, presence of plaques. So the treatment include corticosteroids. Uh, it is used to treat acute exacerbation by reducing the edema and inflammation at the site of demyelination. Do not affect the ultimate outcome or degree of the residual neurological impairment from exacerbation. Corticosteroid should be given during acute exacerbation. Immunomodulators after relapse can be given. The immunosuppressive therapy because of MS is considered as autoimmune disease. Potential benefits uh, counterbalance against potentially serious effects. Immunomodulators alter relapse rates and uh, remitting MS include interferon, interferon beta, copolymer. Natluzumab is an effective second-line therapy but carries the risk of JC virus-mediated progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Mitoxitrone can be given for worsening, relapsing, and remitting progressive uh, multiple sclerosis. Alternative treatment includes cyclophosphamide, IV, Ig, and plasmapheresis. Antispasmodics can be given uh, to uh, ease the patient's uh, suffering. Physical therapies include uh, relieve spasticity, increase coordination, and train the patient to substitute effect unaffected muscles for impaired ones. It is crucial to include uh, baclofen for spasticity, cholinergics for urinary retention, and anticholinergics for urinary uh, incontinence. Carbamazepine or amitriptyline for painful paresthesias and antidepressants for the clinical depression. Nutritional therapy include megavitamins and the diets consisting of low-fat gluten food or raw vegetables. The high-protein diet and supplementary vitamins are often prescribed. So in management, health history uh, should be sought and the risk factors should be analyzed and precipitating factors should be seen and clinical manifestations should be analyzed. Impaired physical mobility should be assessed. Uh, there, the other issues that need to be addressed are dressing and grooming, self-care, risk for impaired skin integrity, impaired urinary elimination pattern, sexual dysfunction and interrupted family processes should be analyzed. So the management planning include maximize neuromuscular function, maintain independent independence in activities of daily life as long as possible, optimize psychological well-being, adjust to the illness and reduce factors that precipitate exacerbation. One has to help identify the triggers and develop the ways to avoid them and to minimize their effect. 
reassure patient during the diagnostic phase, assist in dealing with anxiety caused by the diagnosis and prevent major complication of uh, immobility. One has to focus uh, teaching uh, on building general resistance to illness, avoid fatigue, extremes of hot and cold that may trigger the disease and exposure of infection that uh, can again cause uh, trigger in manifestations. Uh, teach good balance of exercise, rest, nutrition, avoidance of hazard and immobility. So the nursing uh, problems, uh, the, uh, the nursing management include teach self catheterization if necessary, teach adequate intake, fiber, aid, regular bowel, bowel habits. Thank you.